Meanwhile, before the season even started, the bookies made Norwich City the favourites to go straight back up. Now, the bookies don't get that many things wrong, but Norwich were 18th coming into this weekend with seven defeats from 15 league games. Nigel Worthington, a man very much under pressure. Gabriel Clark, very much our man in Norwich. Come on, Norwich! OK, most of the media were not in Norwich to check on the quality of the fabled Carrow Road catering. The burger's out of ten. Ten out of ten. And the team? Four at the moment. Very full. The faces are as long as the team's injury list. After two spineless league defeats, one of the game's more respected bosses was back home, with some seriously beginning to question if Nigel was still worthy. How much do you feel the fans are behind you? I feel the supporters behind me. There's always one or two in these situations who are trying to get the bandwagon on the move. The local paper today, a column in it saying that Nigel has two games to save his job. Well, paper talk. Things must be bad, however. Last week at QPR, even director Delia Smith came in for a bit of stick. One fan threw his tie at her at the end of the game and screamed abuse almost as colourful as one of Delia's curries. She prides herself with being in touch with life on the shop floor. So, let's be having you. Delia's saying, be patient. That's right. And Delia's right. Come on! I think he's a good coach. He's got us there before. I think with the right back and he'll get us there again. I can't see how he's motivating because he's not. Some of the players have got carried away with the expectation level and also all the different bookies saying that we're favourites to go up. Uh, and some of our focus might have been distracted a little bit. It's harder to re-motivate a team second time around. Kerbishley, Megson, Reed, and Brian Robson have all taken the same club up twice, but fail and you can end up treading water. You're welcome. Uh, look at Ipswich. What about the boss now? I think he should go. You might look at Alan Pardew's situation at West Ham last year, with many supporters calling for his head, uh, really right up until the point they got promoted in the player final. And look where they are now. Are you as convinced in your own ability that you are the man to turn this club around and take it back into the Premiership? I turned it around five and a half years ago, and uh, I'll do it again. And the majority shareholder says she's not for turning when it comes to Nigel. A vote of confidence coinciding with the return of key men Safri and Drury from injury. Were they fighting fit? Sheffield Wednesday just want to stay up. Gabriel Agula Hall should have scored. Norwich need to start earning the right to play the Worthington way. They seemed up for it. Andy Hughes couldn't quite round off a flowing move. Sir Bobby was Delia's special guest, an innocent invite. He'd have been impressed with the elegance and all-round game of Dean Ashton. Comfortably Norwich's best player. They were as changeable as the elements. Half-time and Wednesday had ridden out the storm. Two seasons ago, Norwich won their first eight home games. They sell out every week. The hardcore sing their hearts out. But the louder the noise, the more anxious the 11 in yellow became. There wasn't much to spark conversation. The only plus, Wednesday looked even less like scoring. Didn't they? 11 minutes from time, Chris Brunt scored. Wednesday had won their first away game of the season. Mugged, yes, but Norwich's best is nowhere near good enough right now. The man with the most to lose remained dignified. Others are clearly feeling the pressure that comes with a fourth defeat running. Norwich slipped to 20th, exactly where they were when Worthington took over. Does today, as a manager, make you question yourself even more? I've never questioned myself from minute one, so I don't know where you get the even more from. It's not good enough. Is what you need to do change the manager? No, I, I personally, no. The AGM on Monday, will you go? Of course I'll be there. What will you tell the fans? <laughs> I'll tell them uh, exactly how it is, like I've done over the last five years. Before the game, you said, I will turn this around. Has it changed after what you've seen out there today? No, not at all. 